Hey there, Bare Knuckle News fans. I am here with Donna 5000 after the big fight at the Hard Rock. You gotta break that car down for us tonight. Amazing fight. Hey, listen, this right here is what we do. We came, we saw, we've conquered. You know, every fight was capable of being a main event. They should have called it Gnome, N-O-M-E, not a main event. I thank the fans, you know what I'm saying? They were pleased, and the people watching all around the world, they were pleased. And the best part about it is, looking at the comments, everybody wanted to know when is the next one. September the 10th, back here at Hollywood Hard Rock Live. What's your pick for fight of the night, do you think? Wow, I have to say fight of the night was going to go to Patricia Juarez and Knucklemania Stanley. Knockout of the night has to go to the upstart, you know, um, Keonis, Isaiah Keonis. He made short work of a very skillful, you know, Mike Trujillo. No one's seen that coming. The ladies' fights were so interesting. How did you think they went for some of the people that were debuting? I think that it went great because they didn't know what they were up against up inside the mighty Trigon ring. It's not a boxing ring and it's not an octagon. You know, listen, I said it. Fourth of July is awesome. This is the month. Tonight, we were also dropping bombs and we lit up the sky just like the Fourth of July. It's very unusual for a boxer to be able to look so comfortable inside the bare knuckle Trigon. How do you think Wars did it? I think that, you know, keep one thing in mind. She's an athlete and she has skill. So she has good feet work, plus she was poised. And I seen how, you know, she was moving. So her experience helped her prevail. Knuckles is a brawler, she's a slugger. I mean, she's aggressive, you know, and uh, she fought a great fight, but she was out best by an opponent that was a little bit more skillful. But I'm really looking forward to the rematch, but I don't think that we'll see Warriors inside there anytime soon because I think that, you know what I'm saying, she was affected pretty bad inside this match. In your experience as the president and owner of BYB Extreme, some of the fights did go the distance. That's pretty unusual, right? Yeah, because I always said you can't bring your, bis your bicycle inside the mighty Tricon. You can bring it inside the square circle and inside the octagon. And I just think that, you know, it's about, you know, burning burning the, the, the candles on both ends. And it's going to meet, you know. So when you have two two fighters that really want to get at it, there's no way it's going to go to distance. But if you have pressure on one end, you know, that other person, you know what I'm saying, is, uh, is mobile, you know, then you just may pull out a decision, you know. We have to talk about the main card because we're in Miami, a lot of controversy. White boy, the favorite, the hometown person, white boy, highly a champ, and his opponent, Matt. Give us your thoughts on that fight. Wow, you know, white boy was definitely winning, hands down, and he brought it to Matt because everybody knew that white boy was, you know, he's gonna probably win by a decision. And he said, uh-uh, da -uh, not tonight. I'm going to bring it to him and I'm going to knock him out. And he did exactly that. He got in that ring and he went for it. I think it was a premature stoppage, but from my angle, you know, I got to go with the ref. You know, if you're not educatedly in a position to defend yourself, if you're not responsive to my verbals, my commands, then I'm going to wave it off. And that's the argument, you know what I'm saying, from the commission standpoint. Will you give them a rematch? I would love to, but right now, BYB Extreme, you know, we're talking about him being the mandatory for the winner out of Jomi and out of um, Renee, but I mean, out of um, Delanoy. But Renee wants Delanoy, and rightfully so. He wants Delanoy. We would love to see it because I don't think the fight is going to go any, any, any different than it went just now. What is your prediction, by the way, for the tournament? because you do have two very interesting fighters fighting it now that White Boy High League Champ is out. Yes, um, I'm gonna say that Jomi Escobosa definitely has that killer jab, you know, and styles make fights. You know, um, Delanoid is more aggressive, you know, and if he come inside that reckless against a guy like Jomi, it's gonna be a shot night at the office. What is next for you, Donna 5000? Wait, is it, I heard a rumor that you were going to be uh, fighting again is that true i'm slimming i'm slimming up i came down from three from 319 i'm now about like 290 by september i'll be right on weight and we got a we got a big announcement to make you know coming into december so you know it's only right it's only right that I, you know it's only right
It's coming. It's coming. Is there anything else you want to add before we go today, Tata? Listen, we are the next phase of evolution when you look at bare knuckle extreme reality all across the nation. We got the resume, we got the track record to prove it, you know, and this type of stuff here, you know, you don't have to sell. It sells itself. You can't make it up. The world just seen BYB Extreme. There's nobody on the planet as bad as us when it come down to bare knuckles. And the mighty Trigon. Hey, it's a beast. It's the most dominant, the most feared, the most respectful, you know, fighting form on the planet. It finished people. Donna 5000, thank you so much for taking the time to interview with me. Thank you. We will be here bringing you all the bare knuckle news from the next BYB Extreme card going in September 10th. For bare knuckle news, I'm Susan Sigari.